What's up guys, it's your boy. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we talk about hot shot, core hauling, how to be successful, and how to make it work. You're also gonna get tips and tricks on hot shot car hauling and hot shot trucking. But, most of all, you will not get the small mindedness of people around the world. So if that's something you're interested in, like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding. Now let's roll on into the video. What's up, what's up guys, it's your boy. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. I got a new microphone I'm trying out. Um, well, it's not a new microphone, but it's the first time I've used it on this phone. So, let's talk about the correct way to calculate price per mile. Now, I know I'm not a huge price per mile guy, and everybody knows that. Um, or you can just say, ah, here goes his hypocrisy again, talking about whatever he wants, you know, whenever he wants, just to sound professional, I guess. I guess that's the reason for hypocrisy, I don't know. Um, so, what's the accurate way to calculate your price per mile well i'm going to tell you right now without google maps you can't do it in one and a half uh, miles keep left it, it's almost impossible to calculate that without google maps if you're picking up three in uh let's say like yesterday i picked up I was in Chicago, uh, up by Gurney. Then I picked up one in Matson, and where was the other one? I don't know, down by Hammond. So if I just do Matson to Nashville, which is where I'm going, that's going to give me price per mile, right? Yes. But is it correct? No. Sorry In guys, these Indiana mile, roads are left. horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, they're not going to give me a correct price per mile. Because I still have to go from Chicago to Hammond. From Hammond to Matson. From Matson to Nashville so and I do this but while booking a load like while I'm calling and booking loads I am doing this on my Google Maps Keep left. I have to if not I don't know if I'm profitable so I mean now if you're running three cars at a dollar a mile and they're all relatively close then yeah you can guesstimate Continue and hope you're route. right but it's not, you know, right. So, you have to put in where you start. Where your last drop was. That should be A on your Google Maps. And then you put, you know, your, your next stops. And now make sure you play around with it. Because we don't know... At least I don't. I don't know the best routes around some of these areas. Like Chicago. I don't know Chicago. I don't know Nashville. So there may be a quicker way to get there. Truck route. And save me miles and money. You can, if you look at a map of something... It may make may look like it makes zero sense. But the minute you put it in your Google Maps, you're like, oh, that's only five minutes. Or oh, that saves me time by going what looks like out of the way first. So you you've got to know what you're truly doing. Now you can also look at alright, I made a thousand dollars. 
and I'm going 600 miles. Well, you don't know if you're going 600 miles unless you put it in Google Maps. You don't know how long it's going to take you unless you put it in Google Maps. It's got to go into a mapping system to tell you if it's correct. There is processes to this game. It's not just look on the load board and run with it. You can. You're not going to have true numbers. And you're not going to know what you're really making. You know, and it, it's gotten easier for me, you know, this last week or two because I don't know why, but I've had a lot of one pick, one drops. Um, and the rates are, you know, really going up for some reason. I don't think they're going to stay for long, but, and I still don't think it's long enough for a freight guy uh, to make the jump full time. And now, if you freight guys are running cars, you better make sure your DOT uh, number and insurance covers automobiles. Because a lot of them do not. And if you're caught hauling cars without the proper insurance, you're going to be in big trouble. And our insurance is a whole lot higher. Like probably 10 grand a year higher just to be a car hauler. So car hauling, if you're going to haul cars, you've got to take it serious. I don't think car hauling is a part-time gig. Uh, I don't think you can get away with running it part-time. Just my opinion. Oh, we gotta pull over for a minute. Um, I mean, now some people think they do it and they're successful, but they're not paying the proper insurance. So, which means they're making more than the average car hauler because they don't have the true expenses. So, if that, and if that's the way you want to run your business, so be it. That, that's your project. But shortcutting any business has never worked in a long term for anybody. Like business, running your own business is absolutely difficult. It's aggravating. It's time consuming. It's a lot of things. A whole lot of things. Including very lucrative if done properly. So, you've got to make sure you're truly tracking numbers, profit loss, uh, you know, all that stuff. You know, and when I started, I, I didn't realize how important it was. I was Mr. Willy Nilly with my numbers. I didn't track nothing. Except for money in my bank account, money out of my bank account. And didn't understand why the money wasn't adding up. You know, why did I just make seven grand this week and I've got 500 left over at the end of the week? Well, because I'm not profiting correctly. I'm not budgeting my business correctly. Businesses have budgets. The government has budgets. Everything has a budget. Your money should be working for you. But that's for another video. Um, I'm working on a special video for you guys. You know, a couple people have requested it. It's going to take a long time. It's taken a while, but it is what it is. Because it's for the fans. It's for the community and the family. So, guys, when you're doing your miles, when you're booking your loads, make sure you do it correctly. And stay away from the dispatchers unless you know the dispatcher knows what they're doing. The dispatcher should be able to tell you how they're doing it. If they refuse to tell you, then don't use them. Because that probably means they're not calculating, you know, correctly. Now, a dispatcher is not worried about you profiting 
the most on your miles. A dispatcher is worried about the big number at the end of the week. And if their goal is, let's say, 400 per, per truck, and they're at 10%, right? So anything above 4,000 is, is gravy. It's extra. But what are what is that costing them on other loads? So if they're if you need them to find you another five hundred dollars somewhere, but yet they can make two thousand or you know they can make more money by going somewhere else, you know, working on somebody else. That's when you're going to be told the board is what it is. You know? So, guys, just be careful in the industry. Make sure you're profiting or uh, checking numbers correctly. Doing everything the way it should. And we're going to get back into some of these out-of-the-truck videos and all that. I just got to slow it down and fall back. And that's coming. So... Alright guys, you know the deal, like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding. You can go to the uh, go to the website, get the consultation. You know, it's twenty five hours, but there's no limit. It says an hour, but you need me for three hours and that's what it is. So Alright guys, y'all know what to do. If you have any questions, hit your boy and hit that ding ding. And I will see you. Tomorrow, bitch.